everybody, it's Peggy. Here to show you my birthday cards for the month of July. Okay, this first one, uh, if you remember back a few months, Marlo had sent me those impressibility embossing thingies. <laughs> so I used it here. They don't give you quite the emboss that a regular embossing folder does, but you can see it there. And uh, I've used uh, some ink on top of it just to highlight it a little bit. And then this is a, a die and stamp set that I want, <coughs> excuse me, one from Renee Hanlon's challenge that she had way back when. So this is the first chance that I've had to use it, so I decided to go with a blue one and make Birthday Boy. And uh, just a, a teal color, or aqua colored card base, and then I've got a, a black background here, and then that embossed piece on top there that I've, like I say, colored in. And then on the inside big wishes for you. Another little t-shirt. I love the little hangers. I thought those are kind of neat. So that's my first card. And my second card is one of these with the multicolors across the front here with a band and uh, a star die. And I've used stickles on the, the inside one and just added some flat back pearls there in the same colors that I that are used in the the papers here, the green, the pink, and the blue. And then on the inside blow out the candles and I stamped the candles there and colored those in. So that's number two. I do like the stamp of the sunflowers and a little hard to see under here, peeking under there. That's pleated. And then I've just added a little bit of ribbon along there and fussy cut the flowers out and got them popped up on some foam. It's a gold base with a brown background and then that's some K and Company paper that I've had for a million years. That's the outside, and then on the inside I've got happy birthday, and, er, yeah, and that's uh, cut out in foam. No, I'm lying, that's paper. Sorry. Yeah, that's the same paper as the background. And then there's still room to write something, if you like. So that's, I've added some stickles to that, because you got to have some, something sparkly on it. <laughs> And this is really old paper. I think this is one of the first uh, paper stacks that I ever bought. It's K and & Company. And uh, birthday paper. And uh, I just stamped happy birthday there. And uh, the balloons are actually cut out of foam. So they've got a little bit of dimension to them. Where are we? Here. Yeah. And... Uh, can't get a hold of that. There we go. I just used a little uh, a white gel pen to just make it look like the balloons are shiny, and then uh, stamped this. This calls for cake and ice cream, and just uh, another piece of the border under the paper that I put in there. So that's that one, and this is more of that paper. And uh, I cut out some of the some more of the balloons out of that paper and pop them up so that's dimensional. Probably can't see it. Anyway, trust me. And then add a little bit of sickles to it there just to make it sparkly. And then what I've done here is cut a, a hole through and put the sentiment on the inside there and then stamped bunch of different party images on the inside here. 
So I thought that was kind of cute too. So that one. And that one. And this one. And that one. And that one. There we go. So that's my group of July birthday cards. If you have any questions, just give me a holler. Okay, take care. Bye.